Unfortunately, Apple is not there yet. In the world of AI, Siri has still a long way to go. I actually have an awesome new trick that is so amazing. It works really well with ChatGPT. You can add ChatGPT's voice conversation feature to your iPhone immediately. You want it in your action button, just like that. You just long press it and it immediately opens ChatGPT's voice conversation mode. And also, if you don't have an action button, don't worry. There's also a shortcut that I made that you can immediately access ChatGPT's voice assistant right there straight from the lock screen on any iPhone. Let me show you one more time how this works. We have the action button on the iPhone 15 Pro and we long press it and immediately we open the ChatGPT voice feature. It's actually really simple to have this yourself. First of all, you need to have the ChatGPT app installed on your iPhone. So that one is free. You can download it for free in the app store this one is the right one and it's free to download and what you basically get with this app is chat gpt 3.5 if you want to get plus you can get gpt 4 which is a smarter more advanced model the basic model works just fine to add this to our action button it's actually really simple what you need to do is you need to go to a settings and in settings you need to scroll to the action button right there and in here we need to swipe to the shortcuts so the shortcut this is the one and then you simply choose a shortcut and the shortcut we're looking for is the one from chat gpt so simply fill in chat gpt and then just select the start voice conversation one it's simple as that basically that's all we have to do and now if we long press we immediately open chat gpt and there's our voice conversation feature really really powerful really useful but now obviously not everyone is an iphone 15 pro with action button so let let me show you how you can get this also not with the action button but actually getting it right on your lock screen we need to work a little bit in shortcuts here but it's not difficult at all let me show you step by step how you can do that first of all we head over to shortcuts right there and then in shortcuts we're gonna make a new shortcut by hitting the plus icon in the top right so we're gonna add an action and we just fill in here chat gpt you don't want to click on the top one the application but just the same thing as with the action button start a voice conversation so we click on that if you want you can change the name in the top here rename this for example chat gpt voice simple as that and then we just click here and that's basically everything we have to do we hit done and now we have to go to our lock screen so we long press to get into the customization options from our lock screen we click on the lock screen and now we can add the widget we just created the shortcut so let's search it right here you have already shortcut recommendations but if you don't have that you just scroll down all the way to the bottom until you find shortcuts and you click on that we add this one and then what you have to do is to click on the shortcut and select the one we made which is chat gpt voice there it is we click on it and it's really simple there it is we have done to finish the setup and now let's say you immediately want to access the voice conversation with chat gpt you don't need to have the action button you just click on the widget we just made and check it out there it is immediately opening and we can just ask chat gpt anything we want i hope this was helpful make sure to hit the like button subscribe and hit the bell icon as well so you don't miss any of my new videos Thanks for being here and see you in the next one. Peace.